Hey, this is Josh from Zerto. Welcome to this video on installing Zerto Virtual Replication in both a VMware vSphere and a Microsoft Hyper-V environment. For step one, we're going to install our Zerto Virtual Managers. You need one for each vCenter or system center that you're linking Zerto to, and you're going to need a standalone VM with two vCPUs, 4 gig of RAM, 100 gig of disk, and a static IP address in which to install the Zerto Virtual Manager software. I've already downloaded the documentation, all the installation files, and we'll start by installing Zerto into my production VMware environment, and Zerto supports both a Windows and Linux vCenter server. We'll kick off with the VMware installer that you can see here. There are two different installation methods for the Zerto Virtual Manager, Express and Custom. The main difference between the two is that Custom allows you to specify a dedicated SQL database, which we recommend for any environment with more than a couple hundred virtual machines to protect. First, we specify the vCenter server hostname or IP address, and then a dedicated service account, which requires full vSphere admin permissions. We then have to set a text label for the Zerto interface on where this site is and what it should be called. And now the installer is going to check, first of all, that it can ping and communicate with the vCenter server, and then second of all, that the credentials we specified allow us to successfully authenticate, and this is exactly the same as loading the vSphere web client. We have the warning on the plugin because I've installed Zerto in this environment previously. While that's progressing, we can now start the installation of Zerto in my Hyper-V environment. Here I have a Hyper-V host, 2012R2, registered and be managed by SCVMM 2012R2, SCVMM 2012R2, which is the minimum requirement for installing Zerto in a Hyper-V environment. I have another Zerto manager with the Hyper-V installer ready to go. If we load this up, we'll do the exact same installation using the express installation method, and except this time we're going to specify all the information for my Hyper-V environment instead. So we need the IP or hostname of my SCVMM server, the domain on which it's joined, a domain administrator account, and again, a site name. It's now going to perform the exact same authentication checks. The check is now passed, so let's kick off the installation in the Hyper-V environment. We can now go back to my production Zerto manager and we can see that the installation is completed which is then going to allow us to load up the Zerto interface, which will be on HTTPS port 9669. So let's close down the installer, open up a new tab in the web browser. Using the custom installation method, we can set our own security certificate here. We should log in with our vSphere admin credentials. Apply our trial license key. And then we can go to the sites tab and pair this Zerto manager to every site that we want to replicate to. If you only have one vCenter, don't worry, you don't need to add a second site because by default you can enable replication within the same vCenter server to test out Zerto between the same host, couple of hosts, different data stores on the same host, or even different clusters. So we're gonna specify my second vCenter server, which I already deployed Zerto onto, and I'm also gonna specify my Hyper-V site. We've now successfully paired to both my target sites, and we finished step one, ready to move on to step two, which is deploying the virtual replication appliances.